Before you use Air 4 Labs King Air 350, I strongly recommend you to set at least some essential commands and settings. First of all, joystick and key commands. Control sensitivity. It is a subjective thing because it depends highly on the type of controller you use. But according to our experience, we recommend to slightly downgrade the sensitivity around the center of the control axis. And we recommend for all three axes, pitch, roll and yo, to set about 80%. For stability augmentation, we uh, strongly recommend to set it to zero because this would interfere if not set to zero with our flight model. In case you have joystick, the most important thing is to set the quick look commands. If you look down, here you have the menu on quick look and we are preparing a new video on quick look. But the most important thing is to set four commands related to quick look, which is quick view left, right, up and down. The most comfortable thing to do is set the quick look to some kind of head switch if you own one or if you have on your joystick controller, for example. And then you will set these four directions of quick view. And the example could be shown over here. Now for the up switch, we have nothing set. So you just go over here, you click on custom, then choose a command, edit. And then over here, we can collapse those menus and look for air for laps, air for laps. And here are all four quick view commands. For our purpose, we have this quick view up over here. The next essential command to set is those for walking. So that you can walk like over here, turn while holding your right mouse button and also crunch if you want to go under the wing or if you want to board the aircraft. And also if you want to tow the aircraft, you have to set those walk commands. You have to go again to the menu, keyboard. Over here you can search for King Air 350. And we are looking for camera folder. If you go to your menu on the left side, you can see the settings icon. First, remember aircraft state. This is pretty self-explanatory. This will remember all aircraft systems, states and switches positions. Show arcade 2D panel. The arcade 2D panel is this bar on the top and it permits you to fly the aircraft in an arcade mode so that you can always know which speed, direction and uh, attitude the aircraft have. You have three possibilities. It can be always on, which is not very practical. When outside, it means when the explained camera is in the external mode like this, it is always on. If you switch in the cockpit, it is switched off or you can never use the panel. Clickable regions and it allows you to view with which objects you can actually interact. It can be hidden as it is now. It can be hidden when you are not moving. So currently you are not moving, but if you move, if, if you are moving, you can see those green zones flashing and you can interact with them. If you click on show always, logically this will be shown always and you can always see what you can manipulate with. Show passengers, show pilots also very easy to understand. Alpha and airborne, this is important. As people have different controllers for controlling their throttle, it can happen that during the flight you will inadvertently put them the mode of the aircraft in the beta or reverse mode, which is very dangerous in real life. This one helps to prevent activation of the reverser or beta range when the aircraft is in the air. Concerning the uh, environment sounds, now you can like hear a, a slight wind and if there will be some rain or stronger wind, you can actually hear it when you are outside of the aircraft or when you are inside and windows are open and or the door is open. If you don't like it, you can just switch it off. 
Then there are pilot, copilot callouts, and there you can just adjust the volume of them. And then we have checklists and automated checklists, and there you can adjust the checklist speech volume. The last feature that we have introduced just a couple of weeks ago is this pop-up delay possibility. So on the left side you have the menu and sometimes it can be distracting or you are not willing to show the menu so quickly. In that case you can just prolong the time after which the menu will pop up. So now if we have two seconds and I put the mouse on the left side you actually have to wait two seconds before the menu pops out. And the last but not least is the graphics settings. The one that is essential and that is influencing internal lights is this one. If you have lower setting than this HDR high, the interior lights will not be displayed. So it's quite essential to have at least HDR. That's all folks and we'll be back with more very interesting videos, not only about the functionality, but also about the future of FLAPS production.